Good evening, this is Mad Fool. It's Friday night, and I was going to show off some historic decks. These are top tier decks, none of them made by me. Well, one of them's made by me, and it's not as top tier as the other ones because it's made by me. But these are all historic decks that I was able to build because of the historic all access event, which let me just build whatever without worrying about what cards I owned or didn't. And so, we have here a Historic Blue Tempo, a Historic Gruel Aggro, a Historic Bent Ramp, and there was a fifth one that I made, but then I found out that one of the cards wasn't allowed. It had Nexus of Fate in it, which got banned recently from Historic, so I'm not playing that one. There's Historic Turbo Fog, that's mine, and as a fifth one I've got this reef roll which is not top tier it's really janky but when it works it's really fun to watch go off so we're gonna start with the gruel aggro which I tried earlier and couldn't get to work but maybe it'll work this time it's just a red green stompy stompy deck Pardon me. And I'm up against Ig Castillo. Three lands is good. That's a good start. I will keep. For those of you unfamiliar with this game, the point is to get the other person's life total to zero. And you usually do it by attacking with creatures. The Historic Turbo Fog deck I've built actually wins a different way than that, but I'll get to that when we get there. Alright, play that. Play a Pelt Collector, since I just drew it. He's got an enchantment that lets him look at his top card, decide whether to draw it or throw it in his graveyard and draw the next one. Kaya. Oh dear. Well, there goes the Pelt Collector. Somebody bothering you? Hmm. I'm gonna make myself scarce. So I'm gonna play this hasty girl and kill Kaya. Tefri, Master of Time. Definitely want to drop that. He's got a really bad last ability. So let's put down the big questing beast, which has haste, 4-4, four, four, vigilance, and death touch. We'll use that ability one more time. He's at 5, so I guess I gotta attack that Tefri all out. Bye, Tuff! Probably got something to destroy all the creatures on the board coming up. Yep. Called that. Okay, so. Decisions, decisions. You know what? I'll play the robber of the rich. Attack. Play a scavenging ooze, too. Wish I had one more red source of mana, but oh well. Both of Kaya. Three damage and he gains three life. Always annoying. Alright. Well, I'm gonna swing in with that. Play the Gruel, Sp Gruel Spellbreaker, which I choose haste or plus one plus one counter. I'm choosing the counter because he already had the haste when, or he already attacked before, so. Didn't want that. And he's got his card advantage engine now. As Canta the Sun can ruin, this card is heavily used, abused in my Turbo Fog deck because it's just. Insane card advantage with the right stuff. Shatter the sky. At least I get to draw a card. 
Oh, there's a forest. So I'll play this hasty boy. Swing. Drop a lawnmower elf. Really need another mount, especially with this double strike waiting. Shatter the sky again. Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time with this. Just gonna do two to his face. And this is the exact type of deck you don't want to play against when you're playing an aggro deck. Oh, one that looks on untap two lands and draw a card. Well, I am well and truly hosed here. Oh, I forgot about the last ability on Questing Beast. I feel silly. I don't have to attack Planeswalkers with him because he'll just plow into them anyways. Whenever he does combat damage to a player, he does that much to a Planeswalker too. Do you want me to face you out of time? I exile that guy. He's gone forever. Let's skip to the good part. He's got two more of those cards waiting. I'm just gonna scoop. He's got too much card advantage. I can play both those creatures, but he'll just exile one and kill the other. And I'm just hosed. Alright! That deck totally failed, but it was up against like the build that stops it. So I'm gonna try something a little jankier. And a little slower, but fun when it works. This was a deck I saw a YouTuber named Noxious play. I thought it was pretty entertaining. That's a good enough start. Say hello. Drop the passage. I clearly need a mountain. There's a mountain. Mm, drop a forest. I've got a Pyromancer 2 1 that makes 1 1s when I cast non creature spells. And he's playing with goblins. Okay, so I'll play the island. Risen Reef, when it or another elemental comes into the battlefield, I look at the top card. If it's a land, I can put it into play, which I do. It goes into play tapped, whether I choose tapped or not. And he's got the Goblin Chieftain for stronger goblins. No blocks this round, I just gotta take that damage. Alright, so I got a couple ways I can go with this hand. First thing is to put that land into play no matter what. Second thing, I think, is to play Risen Reef, which triggers both reefs, so that goes into play. Tapped. Next card. Oh, it just goes into my hand. And then I cast Shock on the Goblin Chieftain, which gets me a 1-1 one -one Elemental off the Pyromancer, which triggers both Risen Reefs again. So there's a land into play tapped, and there's another land into play tapped. And yeah, I'll 
just swing in with those two. Now the real combo happens later. There's an enchantment I'm waiting for that's green, that when a land comes into play, it makes a 2-2 elemental token. Uh, block the ringleader to reduce my damage. Okay. So this turn, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to play Growth Spiral. Trigger, 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 trigger. Done. Done. Okay. Then I'm going to play... Do I want to play Neoform? I could turn that into another Risen Reef, but I like it as it is. I could make that into an Elemental, but I'm kind of cool with it as it is. You know, I think the next move is Chandra Acolyte of the Flame, which also makes Elementals. Started? So there's two more elementals for four triggers of Risen Reef. Okay, that's the finishing card. That's the I win card, but I need the enchantment still. Another Pyromancer. Take the action. Enters tapped. Okay. So, next. Attack with all these guys that I don't want blocking. And then cast Neoform on one of the ones that I'd have to sacrifice. Which creates another one, which creates more of that. And there's Healer of the Glade, which comes in as a 2 3. Turns through more of my deck. Zendikar's Royal, there it is. So next turn, I'm going to have some real fun. But right now, what I need to do is activate that. And I had to discard two cards, so I'm discarding the Unpyromancer and the other Neoform, because I'm not going to need that. Let's see what he does. He's going to scoop! He gave up! Alright! I didn't get to get the big combo off, but I'll take the win. He knew something big was coming. Alright, so... That deck almost did what it was supposed to. Show this. This is a much more straightforward blue tempo deck, just basically some small, fast creatures and a lot of disruptive cards to stop the opponent from doing what they want. Mm, yeah, alright. Island. Let's look at the top card. Do I want it? Um, yeah, I want it. Hello, Captain Handsome? Oh, someone thinks highly of himself. Alright, um, I'm gonna pass the turn here because this creature has flash. So I will respond to him casting the Gifted Aetherborn by playing the Cutthroat. Then I will drop an island. Choose not to attack and end the turn. Now this Cutthroat, when I play something on the opponent's turn, like this, it's a plus one, plus one counter. But 
his Wojohowicz here has death touch and lifelink, so I don't want to attack into it just yet. He's going to attack with the gifted Aether Born, which I will just pass not blocking to see what else he's got this turn. It doesn't look like much, so I will return that to his hand with the Brazen Borrower. And it responds with Disfigure, which kills him. Ah, that was the trick he had waiting. Oh well. Well then. I guess. Nothing for me to do but pass the turn. I'm surprised how few of the cheap creatures I got this time around. Oh, pay four more. Oh, he could pay that, so I'll let that resolve. But then end of turn, put a brazen bar we're into play. And Spill Pierce's attempt to kill it. Yeah, I made him spend two cards on it. Fine. In turn. Golos. Oh, freaking Golos. It's one I don't actually want to return to his hand because he goes and fetches a land every time. One of the decks I have in here really abuses Golos. You know what? Let's send him back to hand anyways. Oh, I'll just do that. And I'm just gonna straight up... No wait, no I'm not. Because he doesn't have haste. Makes no sense to play it on his turn. Or on my turn, rather. Chromatic Ori. Wow. That's a nice card. Let's send Golos back. Because I can. Mutate is a new thing where it's kind of like making it an enchantment where he gets the abilities of the card. It can only be done to a non-human, but there's all non-humans in this deck. And the Sea Dasher Octopus on combat damage, I draw a card. So that will give me a little card advantage. He's got tons of swamps. He's got tons of mana. Oh, that's the other ability on Golos. Oh, and he whipped. He didn't get any powerful cards. Except for that one in his hand. 
which kills my boy. But then I can say, look, brazen bar over here. Alright, Siren Storm Tamer. Attack. Mutate under him again. Drop card. Ah, it's an island. I think I'm losing this one. That seven mana ability. That is potent. I gotta remember that's there when I play the Golos deck. Oh wow. Agonizing remorse, resolve it. Just an island in hand, so you're just gonna exile something in my graveyard I can't get back anyways. Let me guess the brine board? No, the octopus. Hmm. He doesn't like that card draw, even though he's playing for card advantage. Fascinating. Another ritual. This one is when a swamp enters in the battlefield. You can pay a life to draw a card or drain two life from a target. Oh, and now he's got this two one. Dante, Lord of Luxury. Look at the top four cards, steal one of them, face down, you can cast it like it's in your hand with any color mana. I'm just going to concede because I am locked out of my deck at this point. Anything I play can die to that guy that drains two life. All right, H Tempo deck failed because it got up, got up against something that kills creatures fast. So we're going to try the Historic Bant Ramp. This is the Golos deck that I found online. And I think it's pretty darn effective. Yeah, Field of the Dead is key to this deck, along with Gulos. Say hello. Play Glacial Fortress first turn. Interesting. I assume he's got the two man enchantment that's plus one plus one for each enchantment he controls. I'll play Field of the Dead. Oh, oops. Didn't realize that came into play tapped. Well, I'm going to cast Explore. Play an additional land this turn and draw a card. And it's Blast Zone. That does not come into play tapped. Good to know. Another Ginger Brute. So I'm taking five this turn? Is that what's happening? Yep, I'm taking five this turn. My turn. Alright, this guy has played a lot of stuff. I tap that. That for green. That for blue. Play Uro. Which gains me three life, draws me a card, and I can put one more land on the field. Like that. And. I gotta 
and turn. And then he goes to graveyard and I gotta spend two green, two blue, and exile five things from my graveyard to get him into play for real. What else you playing? Nothing else. Okay. So I think my best move right now is to put this into play tapped. this destroy each non-land permanent that costs one. Oh, and he saves the healer's hawk that's annoying gate of indestructible but all his enchantments fall off and then cast growth spiral ah there's another way to wipe the board if I have two white. Do I have two white? I do not have two white. Ah! I guess the Rejuvenator might pull me a white next turn, or I might luck out and top deck one. Johnny Tecmo is pondering our next move. Hmm. Come on, Johnny. Yep. Exile something from his graveyard to get the Sentinel's eyes back on. Hits me for two. Oh, hey! I'll pay two life to put that out. Destroy all creatures. And I have enough left to play an elf after. Yes. Yes. Ooh yeah, and put the field of the dead in play. Field of the Dead. When it, when it or another land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, you get a 2-2 zombie token. There's a lot of different named lands in this deck. Alright, Johnny Tecmo, your move. I think I'm going to drop Ugin next. Can I get Uro out? That might, might be enough to make him pick up his cards and go home. I think I can. No, I don't have enough in my graveyard yet. Is he considering his next move carefully, or is he just running down the clock to be annoying? It's a nice minus 10 on him. Gain 7 life, draw 7 cards, put up to 7 permanent cards from hand onto the battlefield. That's quite the card advantage if you can get there. Your 
out of you're out of extra timers. This guy's playing slow to be annoying, I can tell. Trying to put me on tilt. This is one of the great truths of magic that aggro loses to control and he just finally scooped or timered out lost. Aggro loses to control sometimes. Sometimes it beats it. All right, so we did that one, we did that one, we did that one, we did that one. Next up is my H Turbo Fog, my Historic Turbo Fog. This is based on a deck I used to have in Arena, but it got a lot less powerful with some of the other cards that came out. This deck always loses to a deck that's heavy on making me discard. But if it's not a deck that makes me discard a lot, I have a good chance. Sometimes it loses to aggro if I don't draw enough fogs fast enough for enough board wipes like Settle the Wreckage. And this is the win condition, Tefri's Tutelage. The other way to make someone lose, make them go to draw a card and not have any deck left. So I got cards that say when I draw a card, my opponent Puts two cards from the top of their library into their graveyard. Let's see what happens. They're taking a long time to decide this mulligan. Who is it? Arturo 1026. I know a good guy named Art. Well, it's Arthur, not Arturo, but still. Come on, Arturo. Make your decision. This is my last deck. Help me finish the showcase showdown. Keeping this hand. It's their turn. I feel like maybe their computer crashed or something and they're not actually connected to the dude. He was not there. That doesn't even count as a game. Let's try that again. Blue drank. Guess that's their favorite flavor of drink. 
Ooh. I am not a fan of this opening hand because there's only two lands. One of them costs a mana to bring down, and there's no combat prevention. And I've got eight combat prevention cards. Okay. Marginally better. I'll keep it, and I will send Tefri to the bottom because there's two of him. And playing a goose. The goose is loose in the hoose. I'm going to use this first turn for a forest, because I need a forest to cast the fogs. So he's got three potential mana. Oh, he's dropping a soul warden and another goose. I guess he likes to gain life. I know players like that. That's cool. Alright, Forest Plains, end turn. Ah! An artifact creature that taps to give another creature haste. All the creatures you control haste, rather. That is a handy one. He's clearly trying to win through creature combat, which means I'm in a very good spot with this deck. As long as I draw more mana. I kind of wish I could have dropped Tefri Time Raveler there or played the Gross Spiral, but haven't found a blue yet. Resolve all of it. Pass. I don't need to use a fog this early. So, not for one damage a turn. I'm good with a 20 turn clock. Okay, now I need to start casting stuff just because if I don't, I gotta start discarding stuff, and I don't want to do that. It's another land. Kenrith, the returned king. Nice big 5-5 five five to start swinging with. All he attacks with this Soul Warden. Interesting. Keeping the powder dry. He had the crashing drawbridge there. Uh, I gotta discard. Discard the Gross Spiral. Of course, anything I discard, I can get back later with a Gaia's Blessing being cast. Tefri the Time Rabbler. Is he trying to build up to that 1010 Ulamog or something like that? What's going on? I'll, I'll cast a root snare this turn. And what kind of deck I'm playing? Where is my blue? Get some self draw a card. Lawnmower Elf. Everything haste. Creates a food. 
Alright, so another food. What's this guy's play? Fruit snare. Ah! I'm about to scoop out of frustration. Because this deck normally does way better than this. But this deck usually gets at least one blue mana on the board so I can play the blue spells. Pause for reflection. I'm scooping. No, no I'm not. I'm gonna do this. Guy's Blessing. The Fatal Passage. And both root snares shuffled back in, and I draw a card. God damn it. Not what I wanted to see. Now I'm scooping. Try again, because that, that was the worst shuffle. And the deck has... I feel like I should show this. Sorry, text message. Alright. Message received. If I show this, my historic Turbofog deck. 24 lands. There's three regular islands. There's three of this land that can tap for blue. There's four of this land which can fetch an island, and there's four of this which taps for anything. But no. But no! Mm, wrong thing. So one more try in the historic run with the historic turbo fog. against Cayman Pippin, or Cayman Pippin. Sounds like a Lord of the Rings fan. This is going to be a slow start, but I'll have whatever color I want because there's a Gateway Plaza and that Temple of Mystery. Is that one that scries? Yeah. So that'll let me look at my top card when I play it. Hmm. Okay. Play the plaza. Pay a mana for the plaza. Oh, there's a white scry land. I'll do that one. Okay. Next. And turn. And at the end of his turn, I cast Grow Spiral. Draw a card. Play Temple of Mystery. Mm, okay. Now I'll play Gateway Plaza. Pain of mana. And he hasn't done anything yet. Well, trying to cast Teferi's Tutelage, pull the counter spell? No? Fascinating. Mm. Discard pause for reflection. And I milled an Uro and a Nissa who shakes the world. Oh, his deck starts, with, starts off when his Nessa gets played, doesn't it? Crisis. And yeah, don't need to play a Gaia blessing. There's Nissa who shakes the world.
The land fights for us. Turns lands into creatures. But my deck says your creature combat is invalid. What's it at? It's at eight. Okay. Got a nasty surprise for that though. They could bring Uru out if they want. I mean, I'd do it. Yeah, okay. They can play an extra land. And they gain three life. But life doesn't matter on this game, because I'm playing Turbo Hog. My deck is built to annoy you. As you will soon learn. Pause for reflection. And a growth spiral, as I can. Thirty-eight cards left in their deck. And he's casting something. Big. What's he gonna drop? Oh, a big hydroid case is to refill his hand, okay. So at this point, my best move is to just destroy all creatures. Just to keep things simple on the board. I'll take three this turn from an animated land, probably. Oh, they exile my tutelage. Oh well. I got two more tutelages and one other draw your deck out card mill your deck out card called Patient Rebuilding. So that's okay. Oh, there's another land. I'm going to cast Gaia's Blessing on myself. And shuffle back in the Nova. The root snare and the pause for reflection. Ooh, I drew that, but I don't want to cast it this turn. Now, are you gonna make the emblem and drop a second Nissa, or are you going to make another 3 3 to hit me with? What's it gonna be? It's a good thing I didn't cast it. I think it's made it real hard to, yeah, to cast an instant this turn. Yeah, there's the replacement Nissa. That's okay. Rise, my elemental friend. I shall survive this. I can still cast Root Snare. Relax your 
Oh dear. Is that the one that exiled permanent every man cost? Yeah, okay. And he just punches me for three in the face when he wants. Ooh, they made that extra expensive with this guy. I might lose this one because of that, that Ugin. I can deal with him making more dudes. But, oh, shit. Nope. I can't cast instants with Tefri the Time Rabbler on their side, so... I scoop. That destroys my whole deck. My deck is fragile, but... Oh well. Well, that's it. You saw some top tier decks. You saw some janky not so top tier decks. And may you draw well, as uh, Day9 would say. <laughs>